Now, we may not have Swiss standard of living, but we have Swiss cost of living. <laughs> now, maybe the younger voters do not know what happens in the 1990s. You may be young by then. There's always a saying, if you want to know what, why certain things happen at present, you have to look into the history. And what will happen in future, you have to look what is happening right now. I will run through a list, a short list of things that Go Chok Tong, when Go Chok Tong was a Prime Minister, what he did to the whole country. The National Environment Agency, NEA, had raised the rent of his friend's stall by 35% with effect from 1st April. Unhappy with the 35% increase in rent, his friend went to see his MP, Mr. Lim Biao Chuan. The good Mr. Lim Biao Chuan duly wrote an appeal letter to NEA, but NEA rejected the appeal. NEA said that the rent increase was justified because it was in line with prevailing economic conditions. So it seems that the ruling party and the agencies that work under them are at cross purposes. On one hand, we have MPs talking to merchants and associations to keep prices down, and MPs writing letters of appeal to reconsider price increases of store rentals, while on the other hand, you see agencies wanting to raise the rental of stalls to be in line with prevailing economic conditions. How can a stallholder or shopkeeper maintain his price with such increase in rentals and not pass the increase to his customers? So, coming back to Ms. Lim Pei, Tin Pei Ling, her well-meaning efforts to rally a pledge from merchants and hawkers of Macpherson to freeze prices for the next six months. Did Ms. Tin remember to ask NEA not to increase rent for these stores? If Ms. Tin Pei Ling did not remember to do that, then the NEA can always raise rent at any time on the basis that they have to stay in line with prevailing economic conditions. Then this will leave the merchants of Macpherson with a dilemma. Will they uh, break their pledge with, to Miss Tin or absorb the increase in rent, thereby taking on for themselves the burden of the rising costs? So these are questions. It is for all these reasons that there must be more opposition in Parliament. Yeah. Train, it feels like I'm in a different country. Yeah. It is like taking a holiday. I don't even need to bring my passport. <laughs> You think that they say in the past few weeks they want to solve these problems? They will solve it? If so, why were they not solved in the past five years? Yeah. Let me talk about what the NSP will do for you. The NSP will make Singaporeans a priority when it comes to employment. We will make you a priority. Instead of focusing on GDP growth, which is the KPI that determines how much bonus your ministers get, we will focus on growing your wages for Singaporeans yeah. and to build a better quality of life. Yeah. Next, the NSP wants to redefine the notion of public housing. Since when did public housing become so expensive? Now, 
couples are settling down at a later age because they do not want the burden of the huge debt to pay off their houses. Public housing indeed. The NSP promises compassionate lower prices for first-time homeowners and we will not use upgrading as a carrot to win Singaporeans over. I've also cited the example of people, young couples who could not buy HDB flats. Why? Because of PRs. PRs have come and changed the prices of a HDB resale flats, denying our young couples of the chance to buy a flat for themselves. Is this fair for Singaporeans, my friend? No. no obviously not. This is our country, my friend. This is our homeland. My friend, if the people making the policies, no procreation is not like factory assembly line. <laughs> without feelings, without emotions, and most importantly, without love. And the next criteria, how fast should we work? As fast as our minister pay increase by nearly 30% overnight? or as fast as our money has been drained out by the ever-increasing cost of living in Singapore, or as fast as Ma Salamat ran to our neighbouring country. Yeah. <laughs> Mai 消費稅應該要調整